Hello everyone, this is Veldoran and uh, this is my worst nightmare I'm loading in, that is permadead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit early today. I'm so excited to go and uh, take the challenges. No, I was actually sitting playing another game and uh, if I hadn't stopped uh, then that would have been what I would be streaming and uh, that would probably not have been very entertaining. Oh, it would, because uh, my swearing and uh, commenting to things uh, seem to make people quite happy. So, uh, No Man's Sky here, permadeath, so dying means losing everything, even the save game. So, um, yeah, uh, don't get too attached to uh, valuables because uh, they might disappear suddenly. Um, the only thing that uh, can would annoy me is waste is wasting, spending a lot of time building something up and uh, then lose it all because I am stupid. But to be honest. That is unfortunately how I sometimes am. So... Uh, I kind of did all these things yesterday on the no money run and uh, I'm kind of repeating things. And uh, that is a little bit... Uh, Tedious uh, for me, but uh, to be honest, it is uh, how it is when you actually play games. I don't have any of those, so uh, can I actually make any of those? I do have, so I can make a couple of those. I should have, so I could make a couple of those. And that's not the ones I need. Oh, Jesus. So, that uh, was a little bit stupid, but. Uh, hooray! That is, uh, that's me in a nutshell again. Um, I just keep going down the same route, so. Let's see, I need a couple of things here. Uh, actually. Sorted because um, that would be the best thing to do. So. I'm sorry, it's going a little bit slow in the start here, but I need to find my bearing and find out where I am, what I'm doing, and uh, all those kind of things. So, um, being happy that I'm alive is, is one thing, but there's a whole game that has to be done as well, so... Uh, so, the thing is, I do talk to them because... Uh, I need to learn the language, I need to communicate because uh, that does that there is not a lot of misunderstandings I have a base good so I don't think I can already do this but uh, oh I actually can to do any of those right now. Good. Then I have 
one thing left. That's one thing I learned uh, early on. Keep farming the carbon you can get on space stations. Space stations is a safe uh, area, so you can actually do and get whatever you want without major issues. So just pick up as much as you can. So, Talk a lot about friends, uh, the gigs, but uh, uh. standing. Okay, so I guess. I am looking for something. And uh, then I will have to find out what is. Find us. useful if it is you are not alone As I said, I did all this yesterday. Um, to see what um, this comes up with. This is a toxic world. 
and uh, all I have is actually is um, the sodium thingy so that's a shovel with this so I don't get into too many trouble. fast so there's a B class is actually not oh it only needs those two to be airborne. I will claim the ship because uh, I do want one of e each kind anyway, so that at least is one step to do it. So Metal plating and hermetic seal. So metal plating is straightforward and that is also so. So now I have a ship and it can actually take off. Which I'm not doing right now because I'm actually I lost my other ship where did that go? Jesus why did that just disappear? that was kind of weird be absolutely stupid but uh, that's a whole other story Looking at me. 
Okay. So. So I'm going to leave the ship behind and then I'm going to my base and calling it there and uh, uh, see what uh, repairs I can do. Um, that is kind of the plan. That is actually very good timing to get that. I'm a little bit close to the planet, I believe. That is actually a good timing because then I can start getting what I need, whatever that is. Um, and I can still get to my base from here. There is of course things I Don't need at this point, but there's other things which is very useful. So, as this is kind of a challenge, I'm not going to pick anything up from here to help me. Uh, I am going to take the approach as if I was a new player. Um, then I of course wouldn't play on permitted, but uh, where I have not uh, a, a lot of things already in <laughs> in my portfolio, so to speak, because that's of course I could get a lot of help that way, and uh, um, if I die a couple of times and I start over, then that might actually be uh, an option but at this point I'm trying to to actually keep it rolling where I am so uh, this is a very important thing It's a little bit uh, accelerating that uh, I can actually buy things because on the one I played yesterday I'm not allowed to so uh, I can't do these things uh, and that of course is uh, quite annoying uh, in that matter that it's way harder to get upgrades and stuff like that but 
I'm not moaning about it. I am just uh, taking that little bit off. Way that uh, I'm, I'm doing things which uh, actually make things better for me. things which um, actually help me out. I want windows. did I get here? I got the solar panel but not the battery. So the battery is kind of important. Anything I need for building? good idea and this is not really in any way uh, helping me <laughs> uh, I just realized that that uh, Absolutely didn't help me in any way. So yeah. So medium refiner is ten. Signal booster. I get that for free in a moment. So. Um, this this is going down the, the route that uh, I'm actually trying to get the best possible start out of it uh, without compromising anything and now I was stupid why not? Which is okay. Yeah, I can't. I actually wanted to build, uh, buy some of these, but that has to wait. Everything else is fine. I will get more nanites and I will get more things, so. It's not about doing it as fast as possible it is uh, it 
is about making things as survivable as possible. And you might sit there and watch it and say, ah, I wouldn't have done that. I would have chosen other things. That's absolutely fine. We all choose from what we think is best for us when we play. And uh, I will say that uh, I will say that uh, my approach is always you're playing your game and you are deciding exactly how you play. If I can show you some hints and tricks then I'm happy, uh, but it is only that. And if I say you should do this, yeah, that's out from my opinion. It's not always uh, that other people know better than you. I just did all that. Uh, this is one thing which sometimes annoys me with the anomaly. Just do all the things and then it comes up. You should do this. Um, so. I am going back to my base. I would say the good thing is that uh, this is um, a place where I'm 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 safe for now at least. Active world, I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't have much, but I have this, and uh, this will do for now. So, on my extra suit, I got this oxygen and chromatic metal. Can make chromatic metal, that's a good start. Oxygen, I don't have. How much do I need? 150. Jesus. The thing is, having this with me, it means I can actually do a lot of things on the run, so that's actually okay. Shock certain things on my dash here. So this will be my repair project. Um, like many other projects I have done through time. So, 
Some things are fine and easy to fix. Other things is a little bit more tricky, but it can be done. Well, the thing is, I've done this many times before, but uh, of course you need stuff. So kind of leaving it for now because I really need this one to fly around in because that is a whole ship so what do I need to do here I need to build a couple of things can't get any there because I don't have any more. That was the wrong one I picked. So we need to start producing some chromatic metal. I will need that in different uh, shapes and forms anyway. So, so I can build battery now, magnetized and condensed carbon. So, I'm quickly going to stop that. Because I have plenty of carbon. And if you notice when I put things in a refiner, it actually have lesser stacks there as well so that is um, another thing with higher level gameplay uh, more difficulty it uh, it's not as easy as it is on normal you can't just put 9999 in and, and create that no That is not how it works. So apart from building these um, batteries, then I also need to make some nanites and uh, I need to process what I already had on that. How much... Uh, so I can make one. Radiation protection. Yeah, I can only make one, so that's a start. It's a good start. Not the greatest, but uh, it's a good start. So, when it turns day, uh, it's late evening, so, but when it turns day, it will actually start charging the battery, and uh, of course, if I can get more, I still need uh, oxygen, where would I find that? Well, there is any nasty plants then I can actually get it from them
sentinel animal uh, is there actually a cave say now I'm going for the cave again and uh, how did it go last time in the cave not good not good the worst part is that there's a sensor following me so uh, oh. oh there's money there not many but some I already took these, okay. That's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> they will regen though, but uh, it takes more than a couple of days. Getting to a point where I actually need wiring looms, which is fine. And yeah, I know my health is declining. However, as long as I stay in the cave, at least one of them is fine. all about staying alive He didn't know, far from, but actually working the right way. So I need to put something on there. I can use dioxide instead of oxygen, so I can save the oxygen a little bit. I'll go further into the cave and see if there is other of those Hesky Bogus there is. Mm. 
it's fine when I see them, before they see me. Problem is when I don't see them and they suddenly start to ch choking out toxins, then I actually get uh, disorientated and uh, that is not very good. I think there was more up there, yeah. So the thing is with those plants is they can be your biggest enemy because they can actually kill you as you saw with me but they can also be a lifesaver because they hold the two things would actually keep you alive. Keeping you alive is uh, what it's all about. Not only when you play on higher level uh, difficulty, but also in, in general when you play. And that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Staying alive is a very important thing. should stay out of caves, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh well, now we have some power at least, uh, because there is sunshine. 
also need to see if this one had got I was not aware that the oh. don't take things which is not scanned because then you lose out on the secondary in it. Don't be scared if your protection starts going down. As soon as you get into shelter, either a building or a cave or a ship, then it will start regenerating and coming up back up. So uh, don't be too scared. It's only when you're out and can't get any protection you need to fill it up. One you really need to keep an eye on is the lower one of them, which is uh, regulated by your life support. If that comes down, then you have problems. Oh, so we're getting there. Got some geodes. need some more oxygen but I need to have the refiner keep running to put it back in. So, oh, that was the wrong place I put that. Um, I know that uh, it might seem like the game goes very slowly and it does. No doubt about that because Running at a higher difficulty, whether it is um, survival or permadeath or anything else, you have to be much more on with your um, survival, and uh, that is point of where it goes um, uh, wait a minute take it easy now don't uh, rush things don't don't be reckless I'm very good at that I can tell you jumping in with my head first and blaze blazing guns that that's me Uh, I know I've been talking a lot about Starfield lately and uh, yeah, I, I have been playing it quite a lot. But the funny thing is, um, as I have mentioned a couple of times, we are three people in this house playing it and we play it so differently. That's actually where, where it's quite funny to compare games like that because when oh, I need 150 not 100 uh, um,
Well, I very often go um, in with blazing guns. Uh, my daughter is playing much more sinister and uh, Hydrogen I use for that and not those. Oh. oh, that was a mistake then. Never mind. That is uh, what happens. So, yeah, I, I play much more reckless and I die a lot more in, in that game than, than my kids does. But uh, on the other hand, I kind of get things done. So, uh, interesting or not, but, uh, and, and my point is, um, I kind of do the same in, in uh, No Man's Sky, and uh, that is, uh, that's not always useful, especially not when you're playing at uh, higher levels of difficulty. Is <laughs> that uh, really where it goes? Nope, that is not what you want. But I have learned a lot of things the hard way in this game, and that is it's not bad, it's kind of intriguing. So so, I need to go out and get some more oxygen, luckily It's actually on purpose I do it around the base because I'm not really going to waste protection on it uh, that's why when it comes down too low I go back to my house and uh, regenerate that way so I don't actually waste anything There used to be a joke in, in uh, No Man's Sky that uh, you could uh, see at people's face how experienced players they were. Because if uh, everything around the base was uh, kind of clean and uh, every resource was gone, it was normally a very experienced player that didn't want to uh, waste any thing uh, gathering the resources and this is a little bit what I'm doing right now but I'm just saving my resources not like I'm not already bothering with uh, wasting resources because uh, kind of know that uh, they will come back eventually. So, I now need eight more of them, so I'm going to just stop this and mope. And put the copper in again. Um, I will say, if you notice, I get the uh, geode. It's actually quite good, and uh, they sell more value than than they have in them uh, most of the time. 
the problem is they can take up quite a bit of the uh, space. So I need to make well I need to make a lot of things so that's why this will be practical. This is my favorite gadget in the game. Because now I can actually start making something else as well. So now I have two refiners going at the same time. So what is it I need to make? Um, that's actually a good question. So, what would it take? I need gold for that, which I don't have. Uh, I need contents carbon for that, which I don't have. But uh, that I can go and get, hopefully. I know there is... Uh, Sentinels on the planet, but uh, hopefully I can gather certain things before they come. time because you have to wait for them to cool down so yeah, that I'm going back to making the lights um, well I'm not going to make a lot of nanites without carbon so where can I get carbon from without sentinels interfering? There was a little bit in the cave, but that is nothing compared. So I have to go out and keep moving. That is, um, that is the worst part, that is uh, keeping everything fine, and I can see he's not far away, so he might come back, hopefully I can get a good said about wasting um, things 
But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. And that's why of course you you do put things on. Only a lot of them have oxygen as secondary here. Good thing was I um, assembled a little bit more cobalt, so I have. Uh, should really get the upgraded mining laser, advanced mining laser as well. To the hot. Issues. Uh, I need condensed carbon. I don't just need carbon. So I need some pure ferrite. To take and make some contents carbon. So I can buy some uh, wiring looms if they're not too expensive. I don't know what the, the price was on this uh, space station, but I'm just going to investigate that. give any bonus until it's built but uh, at least it's there so I'm, I'm struggling with uh, kind of the usual things uh, let me go and see this is where we are let's just check the prices at least Yeah. 
81,000. That's a lot of money. So remember the 81,000. See what they cost on the other one. Because it, it's free to jump around between those you have uh, a whole troop for. for selling I don't need them right now so until I do they can actually go being sold so 73,000 I'm going to buy them but uh, it's not the cheapest way of getting them, but uh, I need the advanced mining laser uh, rather quick than, than late. And it has two benefits that uh, I feel is useful. First of all, it can mine everything uh, I, I meet and it actually adds to the speed so oh now I put my ship in my house again I do not understand why it does that say it's very annoying when it does because kind of stupid but uh, yeah Yes, they don't do any harm on. Robbery is useful for cooking, but uh, for now it's not the main.
Simpsons is, is annoying. That's just how they are. Um, unfortunately, they can kill me. So, I don't really want them to um, do that. So it might seem a little bit futile that I try to uh, make nanites this way, but to be honest, uh, it's one of the easiest ways from the start game is to, to keep making these. Uh, problem is I have to stand and wait for a portable refiner to do it, which uh, takes time where when I do it in the uh, personal one which I have here now then uh, it doesn't feel as any problem with it so I need some of this eventually so I'm just going to make more. You see, if I consume the grubberry, it gives me 5% life support power. So, in a crunch situation, it can actually be helpful to have things like that. Um, that said, I do have other things which uh, help me out at the moment, but uh, eventually, things like that uh, can save your life. So, that was the first batch of nanites done. So, I actually think I will... I don't know what I will. So, I don't have more there to do that one is not only important uh, what was it I was thinking of building another battery it's uh, more condensed carbon which I don't have overly of that one need gold which I don't have so The ship has gone again. and still hope I stay alive. Oh, no, 
that's not the, that is the one. I thought I did that. And I kind of did that as well, so this is a little bit stupid, but uh, you know what? It's actually gold there, so uh, why don't I just see if I can get some? some gold it is actually a good thing to get what you need like there's someone else, right? So, let's see what this brings. Low atmosphere. Few sentinels. It's actually not a bad thing. Feeling this is one where there's only one animal, so I might actually. Oh, nice. So let's see if that's the case. Yeah. So I get bonus nanites for it. Um. Yeah, I've forgotten all about uploading, so I kind of get a little bit extra, extra. Uh, what the? This is a curious deposit. It's rare only to see one, but uh, I don't know if that's because it's... It's... Um, permanent? I, I don't know. But, uh, oh, there was one more. So Curious Deposit is actually very good because they give Runaway Mode which uh, turns into Nanite, pure Nanite. So that's actually not bad. Carbon and Oxygen. So. We are on a planet where there's only few sentinels, so I would be very unlucky to run into too, too many of them. So this is actually a good uh, opportunity to farm some carbon, especially as I need so much as I do. And anything else which is useful. So, 
that's, that's actually just uh, doing the right things. And, uh, I should keep that filled up. So there was more nanites. More nanites is uh, good. I'm too far away from the ship now, yeah. That's okay. Now I of course ran into that guy, so where did my gold go there? So what I do right now is just uh, ignoring, collecting and hope that uh, I can do it differently. And that's the part I don't want to do. I don't want to land with a big bang. by the mining laser not the terrain manipulator so uh, certain things is actually okay copper sodium copper sodium more gold the reason I say more gold is that it actually didn't provide a lot, so... And of course, upgrade my multi-tool would be a good thing. Uh, normally cost money so kind of need to make some money before, before I go down that route As I often say, if I can make things happen while I'm walking around, it's actually not a bad thing. Thing is, if you can get things for free without having to waste your time on it, oops. They are very annoying. 
Sentinels, that is. And if this is how Hugh looks like, then I would not uh, wish for seeing loads. Good evening, Lazarus. How are you this wonderful windy day? Have you caused any more shootouts in the Red Mile? Uh, it's been a little bit here as well, so that's uh I can't remember where you where you are uh, situated so uh Yeah, I'm in Lincolnshire so that that that's uh a little bit to the north. Well, it's been very windy here today. So, how is Starfield going for you? Okay, I've not even started that part yet. Um, oh. I'm still chasing ships and stuff like that. Uh, but I, I I do think that um, that the outpost base uh, concept seems interesting. So 
but I, I, I feel there's, there's so much going on in that game, so uh, yeah. Someone was showing a little bit about the uh, farming um, materials as well, and that looked actually quite interesting. Now, uh, I mean. To be honest, we are three people playing in the house, so that that there will be spoilers sometimes because we we have gone in very different uh, directions, and uh, that means we we sometimes give a little bit of uh, hints to, for instance, if I find a cool ship, uh, then. Then I will, of course, tell my kids where to find that ship, and uh, if they find one, they will tell me as well. My son has been doing kind of that as well. Um, wow, I, I, I have stolen one, uh, one ship as well. I tried to steal one today, but uh, I couldn't because I couldn't fly it. I need to get my um, skills up so I can fly the, the, the bigger ships. That's one thing which I find very uh, tricky in, in uh, Starfield is the skill chart. I mean, Uh, it must not be like a, a shuttle in this one. <laughs> uh, now I, I find the skill uh, skill chart very uh, difficult. I mean, I, I've been playing other games where you you build uh, skills up in, in one way or another. And uh, I always end up, because you, you know the time then when you, oh, I need that skill. Okay, then I take that. <coughs> That's not bad. Maximum, my, maximum is uh, 30, isn't it? So that's uh, that's not bad. Oh, I, w I want a big um, 
a uh, big cargo ship eventually but uh, that must be down down the line of course but uh, uh, I need I need I need I need I think I will do that while I fly away. Okay, it keeps telling me to go to, to the anomaly and do what I actually already did. I feel that that uh, it, it seems like uh, XP grows with the difficulties on what you're doing. Because I, I was fighting some some quite hefty ships today, and uh, they actually gave quite a lot of XP. But that said, uh, I don't know if it's correct. But I think it scales with uh, how much better than you the, the it is. Because when you're lo lo the lower level you have, the, the, the harder everything seems to be. That, that that's the same problem I have. Uh, I haven't got gotten to that that uh, position that I can actually fly them. But uh, I hope I will be able to one day. As said, I do want to have a very hefty cargo ship that's uh, I did get a milestone didn't I uh, something expensive right now it wants me to do these things so I better just do it blah blah blah, blah. I don't have any of these yeah. uh, speak to another yeah good because I was going to go over here because that's one thing which is quite important that is you can make some of the things yourself 
microprocessor for instance and all the others yeah, I'll take that as the only one for now and I'll take that because that can give me a little bit of an itch when I find those valves. So, I still need to make uh, more nanites because I want uh, modules from the space stations if I can get that. So. I'm also looking forward to when I can build my own ships, but uh, that takes a lot of skills I found out, so that, that also will have to be down the line. Well, I know some people have already done it and uh, well. Yeah, I thought there was a, a level cap at 100 and uh, I found out that is not true, so uh, there's a lot you can you can get quite high. go and get that artifact there because what is this planet So this is a little bit surreal because I did this yesterday on the other save and uh, even though I'm not doing things exactly the same then uh, the result is always the same. Yeah. So 
wants me. I want to find out oh, what was this planet actually. Poisonous. That's okay. Oh shit. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. So. I am just going. Oh, it's not one fighting, it's. Uh, okay. I should not have anything they can use on me, so. Take the chance. So this pirate is uh, reportedly dangerous, uh, that means if I go for him, what the fuck? That is just weird, sorry to say. <laughs> Some frigates uh, lingering around where we are. So I have one warp cell if I need that. I have a little bit of tritium. So that is actually not too bad, more nanites. Uh, that can actually run a batch more. I need to make some space here just in case. So let's put certain things over on the... Starship. Just so I have a little bit of space if I should uh, find things I want. So if I want to earn money, then I should should actually get uh, better scanning devices. The problem is I don't have a lot of space on my multi-tool yet. So it's kind of something I have to work on. Sentinel should leave me alone when I'm this. It's investigating but there's actually no color on. Uh, sorry but where? It doesn't turn blue. And I'm fine. Toxic protection falling. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It's quite toxic here, so um thing is, um, these artifacts is actually a good way of earning some money early in the game. It's normally safe to go for them. You need three keys to open the big one. The key
keys look like the language stones or the knowledge stones in, in Icon. Sometimes they can be very deep down and sit actually in the bedrock. Uh, but luckily there's always more than three, so... If there is one you can't get, then go and get one of the other ones. So the big one was there. biological sample and that actually means that if I went to a repository uh, I could trade that with a another one which uh, normally would have better value so that's uh, worth paying attention to what the different things are some ammonia but I saw there was some copper somewhere nearby as well. So I'm going to grab that because I need copper. to bear in mind that uh, for the repairs of the Artemis ship I need the uh, activated copper so when I see that on a planet I might go and get it if it is not uh, designated as aggressive sentinels um, because if it is then I don't know if I dare do that yet The thing is, you can't create activated yourself. It would be nice if you could refine it uh, somehow and uh, then make it, but no. So, got some cover. Something uh, locate a long distance transmitter. Okay, so that would be a holo projector thingy. Warning. Threat detected. 
they have a lot of value, these uh, pirates, but I'm still not really capable of fighting them. That is a little bit early. Not that I won't try eventually. But it's uh, it's one of these things that uh, I actually well I do want to do the right things at the right pace and so on, but. Uh, It is very important that I stay alive because otherwise everything I'm doing is actually wasted. If I die, I lose everything. So, uh, cautious is uh, the key. actually don't have enough to buy them so that's a little bit of a shame but that is how it is so I've been told to go back to my base and uh, get things from my base computer so I will do that um, it's kind of important to to follow through the through the, the things and um, because you, you, you actually get certain things and for some reason it put my ship there again I must admit that's starting to annoy me but a very important thing to get. Um, I was kind of thinking about expanding. How much carbon do I have? Uh, okay, I have quite a bit. So, what I'm actually going to do This will come in different forms and shapes. I have 
have an idea and uh, when Veldenrun has an idea then that's what he goes b with. Uh, I don't have any glass. However, glass is one thing I can make. So. my launch fuel so uh, this is actually taking the Mickey yeah now it's too far away if I need what's on it probably that is uh, kind of salt's low, isn't it? So, I need some glass that is quite easy to make. So how many do I need? I make six out of what I have there. So, that's probably a good place to start. You get different recipes for glass, but this is the cheapest to make for you. Um, that is uh, one of the things that uh, I t tend to find uh, quite odd that uh, you can make it with uh, different things. And when you have the recipe, for it which you buy it it will be a more expensive way of doing it than just doing it like this uh, from silicate power powder so save yourself money when you can that's uh, that's always, for me, an important part. So, Radiation protection. now I have to think what it is I am actually doing. What I'm doing here is actually separating rooms uh, that need pure ferrite. So I'll have to make that, which I can. So the thing is, I can produce a lot of things on my own um, and uh, that does make it more feasible sometimes to, to build and do things. I'm also going to make a uh, storage container before I run off for this uh, session. Um, Is any of this making me stronger? No. But it will, eventually, because uh, so some of the things I'm going to get in my base is actually things which will make me, make me able to produce things, store things, have things, uh, and, and that on its own is uh, quite a good thing. 
and I will say the next thing I should go for um, getting blueprint for is a medium refiner because that doesn't use carbon to actually run so that is Okay, if I can, uh, so this is only half a doorway, so that is uh, not going to work out. So I want a doll there, and I want a doll there. And then you might say, why on earth do you want that? So, and I'm out of glass. So I would need one, two, three glass more, right? good thing is silicate powder is free to get because you get it uh, when you are using your uh, terrain manipulator uh, and if you make a hole through a mountain you will get shitloads of it so it's something you can very easily farm without actually farm it starting making uh, something better than I normally would so I have one room here and now I have a room here with uh, a lot of light during daylight at least I might want to place some lamps and stuff eventually but now we have a bigger So the next project here is to make more power. And that's why I got the gold. I, need I have the gold and the chromatic metal on my ship. Yeah, of course I do, and that is too far away. Uh, and if anyone wants to call me a Muppet, feel free. That is absolutely correct. That is absolutely correct that I'm a Muppet. I will not even contest it. Um, no, 
doubt about that. So that one I could actually make as it is. That's a good thing because whenever I come across the barrels there wasn't anyone here but it really annoys me I can't take what's in them so no I needed to go upstairs I needed to build that but I needed metal plating gold and chromatic metal so some contents carbon I can't make enough ah. so the thing is I can make Eighty-four, and I need hundred. So that is not going to happen. What about the other thing? That one, I can actually build that as it is. So can I fit that in the corner there? Outside the building, okay. So that need power. And, uh, up to the battery. something on the ship that I would need but uh, that I wouldn't know as it is right now Things that I should 
probably take off and put So, that's all well and fine. I actually need it on the extra suit when I get a gun. So, that is all good now. Now I can deal with things, get them done. I have expanded the base and the thing is I have two doors but that one I'm going to expand maybe or uh, I'm not sure This looks good when it's uh, light outside. So that's that's actually not too bad. So. The problem with this is it needs power in order to work, but it's all fine. Uh, I'm going to put certain things there. Uh, what I would be doing. Gold can stay here as well. I don't know, but uh, if I found out it's not right what I do, I can always at some point change it. So, I got some of the things done I wanted to do, at least I expanded the base. should do yeah I know what I really should do is That yesterday I needed to put Viking. This might be a gate base. Ah, uh, yeah. So, what do I get? Uh. 
this is uh, slightly annoying, but say why is that important well it's not but uh, it's more for my uh, benefits than anything else it's so when I see the picture I know which base it is uh, it told me that there was a thingy uh, One of these, not far away, four minutes, that's actually quite close. And I do kind of try to see what else is around. That is a sentinel pillar. And uh, there's a walker. And uh, this is me leaving again. So there's one there, and there's, is that a, yeah it is, approximate location, that's fine, I'm going to take this one and hope it's the right one. something I don't know what it is uh, doesn't look like it so I will still do the normal things and uh, as long as I do that I will actually be relatively safe doing it that uh, everything I can get for free is is a benefit and I know one of these holds um, nanites and as I said before I have learned to grab the carbon as well so I was the one being a uh, extreme annoyed when all there was in space stations was a room filled with carbon but you know what I have actually learned to appreciate that weirdly enough so I'm 
problem is more my health. It's not critical at this point, but uh, if I ignore it, it will be. Sometimes there is beneficial things. I hate that that takes my sodium, but uh, 